Hello friends, so I would just like to start with this top 5 of mine is based from experience with beating Velo using balanced driving stuff. I'm sure some of these tracks are fairly easier for some of you especially with a lot of players meaning speed nowadays. Also these top 5 are not in chronological order but I'd say that the last 3 are quite on par with difficulty. Anyway, I would just like to share mine so here we go. First for the least most difficult, I would say it would be deep sea driving. Yeah, it should have been easier since I am using an engine with a slower speed but I guess I got cocky and I tried to play it risky and aim for a better time. Anyway, you know what's up here. The blades, the blades, the blades, the blades. Particularly at the tube area before the finish line. Next we have Koala Carnival. This one sucks lesser than the upcoming 3 since I managed to beat Velo a few tries. But due to the layout, it favors driving stats with high speed stats. This is basically one of those tracks with blue fire that is not favorable for balance or turn. I beat Velo by a few milliseconds ahead. Next we have Crash Cove. Normally this track would be easy with speed or drift but with turn or balance is hell. Velo does make wide turns at the shore area before the shortcut so you can use that to your advantage. He also takes the longer left path before the finish line. Still though, his speed may be on par with speed or drift driving style because he can still keep up with you. You will need to be consistent with your corner cutting and sacred fire to beat him. This track took me a good 2 hours before I managed to be faster than him by a few milliseconds. Next one we have Roost Tubes. This one is a bit easier than Crash Cove. There's quite a number of turning curves here so you'll be able to keep up by taking a smaller circumference. One thing to note here is that Velo doesn't take the shorter path at the left of the lamp. If you can be consistent with it then by all means go. I tend to lose my fire before I land or I rub the left wall somehow. I need to practice it more but yeah, it's really really strict to timing. Still I managed to defeat him the normal way. As long as you stay at the left most you should be good. Again, what makes this difficult is that you are basically slower than him and your only means of keeping up is by corner cutting. Last but not the least we have Spyro Freaking Circuit. Remember how Oxide only messes up before the end of lap 3 here? Now we have a faster Oxide without the mess up part. What makes this even more difficult is that you need to perfect the jump from the first two mages. Basically instead of needing to turn, you will just be jumping high at a straight line. You know how it is shorter similar to a right triangle correct? Rather than going from point A to point B, just take the hypotenuse. It is much much worse with turn driving style thankfully, I managed to learn the timing for balance. Besides this, your other opportunities to overtake Velo are the corner after the second warp and then the corner curve before the finish line. Well that's it. I'm excited for the dev times myself in the near future. Will they be just beatable with speed? How great will the difference be between theirs and Velo's time? What particular tracks are you having difficulty beating Velo at? Comment them below!